Hey guys, this is Emma. Welcome to my Chinese class. In the last class, I gave you an overview of Chinese pinyin and the tips on learning pinyin. As I said, pinyin is very important as it helps you build a solid foundation and accurately pronounce Mandarin Chinese and move on to learn Chinese characters, sentences, idioms, and so forth. As we learned from last class, a pinyin syllable mainly has three components, which are an initial, a final, and a tone. Sometimes initials are not necessary. I will explain it later. Today, I would like to introduce you guys to the pinyin tones. There are five tones in Chinese pinyin. First, second, third, fourth, and a neutral tone. Knowing tones is very important because words with the same spelling in pinyin but the different tones will have very different meanings. For example, ma with the first tone pronounced mama is mom. But if you use the third tone, it's ma or horse. You don't want to call your mom a horse, right? Another example is baba, fourth tone, which means dead. But if you use the first tone, Ba, it means eight. You don't want to greet your dad as number eight. So what I want to emphasize is tones are very, very important. Let's talk about the five tones one by one. The first tone, also known as a flat tone, is high pitched and no change or pump when you pronounce it. Let's practice a few words. The word for one is e in Chinese. E. Can you tell? It's kind of long and no change when you pronounce it. Zhongguo means China. Here, Zhong is the first tone, which means middle. Zhong. 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 Here is another example. Che is a car in Chinese. Che. Che. The second one is a rising tone from the middle pitch to all the way up. Let's practice it now. Zhongguo, as we already learned, is China. Guo here means country, which is a second tone. Remember, from the middle pitch to all the way up. Guo, Guo, Guo. Let's see another example. Head is tou in Chinese. Tou. Tou. Now let's see the third tone, falling and rising tone. Like when you are riding a roller coaster, you go down and then go up. But not that scary or dramatic. Let's practice it now. Mei Guo means America in Mandarin. Here, Mei is the third tone, which means beautiful. Mei. Mei. Wu means number five in Chinese, and Wu is also a third tone. Wu, Wu. Fourth tone is a falling tone, which explains itself falling down. Si in Chinese is number four, which is a fourth tone. Si, si. Also, fan means food or meal. It's also a fourth tone. Fan, fan. The last one is neutral tone, which is a very light and soft tone and has no tone mark on it. A lot of times, neutral tone can soften the speaking tone. For example, 你好吗 means how are you in Chinese. Here, 吗 is a question particle and a neutral tone. 吗, 吗, 吗. Again, pinyin has five tones, and all the tones are very important as they distinguish different meanings. I consider five tones like riding a roller coaster. Beginning is flight, first tone, and then go up, second tone, and then fall down and go up, third tone, and then fall down, fourth tone. At the end, the writing is slow and soft, which is the neutral tone. 
Okay, that's all for today. I hope you guys found it helpful. Please feel free to let me know what you want to learn next. Also, please subscribe to stay on the loop on all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. 谢谢观看 I will see you guys soon. 再见。